It was the night before Halloween, and all the engines were glad to be in their shed. All except for one. I can't believe it. I got stuck on Sudo the night before Halloween. That dreadful Halloween. What's wrong with Halloween? It's a vulgar holiday. Spooks, treats, candy. It's all undignified. You never see an aging like me falling for those things. Is that so? You know what I think we need? Feather weather. No, I think I take your meaning. A story. A spooky story. <laughs> you always know the right story to tell. We always love your Halloween stories. Well, I'm sure Spencer will find it very vulgar indeed. All the engines hushed and Toby began his story. A long time ago, there was a young engine. It was hopping and hopping down the line when the track ahead became blocked. They needed to take a detour. This was the engine's first mistake. The track went down an old branch line over a rickety old bridge, and they soon were lost. Oh dear, oh dear, said the engine. Where will I go now? The driver went to go for help, but when they came back, well, well, it's not nice to talk about. Talk about what? When the driver got back, the engine was missing. His face. No one knows what happened to the engine, but some say if you find yourself on an unfamiliar track, you'll run into the engine with its face missing. Ooh. Quite a tall tale, if you ask me. <laughs> Are you scared, Spencer? I'm a streamlined engine. I have more refined taste than a story told by old out-to-date engines. Don't make fun of Toby. Toby's stories are the scariest I've ever heard. Anyone who believes such a tale is just crazy. Spencer couldn't stop thinking about Toby's story, especially the part about faceless engines. The sky was clear once again, and Spencer was allowed to go home. He was preparing for the journey home when suddenly a yard manager spoke to his driver. There's an emergency pumpkin delivery. As hard as that is to believe, we're the only engines not working. They expect me to pull fruit? And for Halloween? I'm not meant for this railway. I can't wait to be on the mainland again. Oh, come on, Spencer. It isn't as bad as all that. Plus, we're the guests here. It's only the right thing that we help out. What's this? Sorry, Speedy. This track is blocked. You'll have to use another one. I'd recommend the one that goes through Suttery. Wouldn't want you ending up in a mess. I don't need your help. I know my way. Spencer will find that he began to feel nervous. This seems like a track from Toby's story. What nonsense. It can't be true. I think we're lost. No worries, the branch line shouldn't be too far back. I'll go for a telephone. Lost. Like the story. Alone. Like the story. It can't be. You just be a silly spencer. Nothing is happening. Just close your eyes. It will all be over. Run away! I'm safe, finally. The rescue team came later that day. Well, well, well. What happened here? Seems like someone scared himself to death. This guy's been blabbering all night about some ghost engines. We'll work at it. You do believe me when I tell you I saw it, right? I have to be honest. I made the story up. 
There is no such thing as an engine without a face. I thought a big streamlined engine like you could have figured that out. If you made it up, then what did I see? 